Hi, I'm Louis from Hydromaster here to uh, give you a service tip on servicing your incoming water box valve. So this is your incoming water box valve which you'll find in the water box of all of our truck mounts. This is a part number 169235 as you see it here. Now the valve will need some service over time. It is a rebuildable valve. So if you're having an issue with your water level overfilling out of the box, you will need to service it with a uh, seal kit, which is part number 078611. What that seal kit is gonna bring you is two seals and a new cotter pin. So the way you get at the seals is you're going to remove the cotter pin by bending it straight, taking your needle nose pliers, pulling the cotter pin out and that will separate the float arm from the plunger. You're going to remove the plunger from the body and then what we're going to want to service is the end seal here and the body or the plunger seal. So you'll need a pick to remove those. So first I go at the uh, end seal here with the point on it and you'll just pick that out set the old seal aside and then we'll also pick off the plunger seal and note the way it comes off You'll put it back in the reverse order fashion. So before you replace your seals, you'll want to um, add a small film of super lube to the seal. Get both seals covered. And I actually like to <clears throat> add a small film of super lube also into the body of the brass housing. This will allow for the plunger to slide nicely in and out. So we'll replace our, our seals, reverse order. Make sure it gets pressed all the way in to the housing. And the other one will need to expand over the top, back into place, make sure it's seated properly, and then we'll put it back into the body housing. Make sure it slides in and out nicely. And then we'll put our uh, float assembly back together, and that's gonna go right under the latch there. You'll line up the, uh, the hole for your pin, Back into place. Once you get it lined up, then you'll go ahead and bend the cotter pin so it locks it into place. Make sure it can't be, come back loose. And that completes rebuilding the seals in your float valve.